Elizabeth Bessie Coleman was born on January 26, 1892, in a hospital in Atlanta, Texas. To raise money for her family, she grew up working on the family cotton farm. After high school, she went to a college in Oklahoma. Unfortunately, she had to drop out after a term because of money concerns. At 23, she went to live with two of her older brothers in Chicago. While living there, she became a restaurant manager and a manicurist. After these, she started to be interested in flying. What got her interested was the tales that she heard from pilots. When Miss Coleman tried to enter schools, though, they wouldn't allow her. Since schools in the U.S. didn't let her in, she decided to go to France and get her license. As she said, I refuse to take no for an answer. When she'd raised enough money and finished learning French, she went off to the Federation Aeronautic International. During the class, there was a plane crash that killed one of the students. Although it did frighten her a bit, she still went on to get her license. In 1921, she graduated from air school and went back to the U.S. Since she became the first African-American woman to be a pilot, she became very popular. She was in many air performances, her first being in Garden City in 1923. She was seen by around 3,000 people for that first performance. Whenever she made an appointment to fly somewhere, though, she would never do it if others like her were not allowed there. To encourage other African Americans to fly, she gave lectures. She gave them not only to them, but to everyone, which also encouraged other women to try to fly. She was quoted to say, I decided blacks should not have to experience the difficulties I had faced, so I decided to open a flying school and teach other black women to fly. Unfortunately, that was something that she did not accomplish. In April of 1926, she flew for her last time. While she was doing a practice, her plane went out of control and she fell over 2,000 feet down. Around 10,000 people came to her funeral in Chicago. Today, Bessie Coleman's fame still lives on. The Bessie Coleman Aviators Club was made by a group of African American women flyers. Many books were written about her too, like She Dared to Fly, Bessie Coleman, Fly High, the story of Bessie Coleman, and Talking About Bessie, the story of aviator Elizabeth Coleman. Also, in 1992, the Chicago City Council made a request to help make the Bessie Coleman stamp. Today, she has a display placed in the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum.